Hi, I'm here today to show you how to set up the Sunspray SE 360. It's so easy. It comes with instructions, a float, nozzle pieces, a stand, a battery, pump and a panel. These are the instructions which cover everything I'm going to say to you. This is your battery backup which connects to your pump. On a partially cloudy day this will keep your fountain flowing. This is a float that will float your pump in deep water. This is your pump which you can see has got a dial on it where you can turn to adjust the water flow of your fountain. This is a spike set for your panel. This is your panel which is 1.4 watts which will provide power for your fountain. This is your battery backup, which comes with instructions so that you know what to do for your first time. All you need to do is make sure you've got a Phillips screwdriver. So you need to unscrew all of these screws, like so. Once you've done that, you need to open it and as you can see there's a battery in there that needs to be connected. As you can see the battery has a connector which you just plug in to the socket just here like this. So easy. And then you close the lid and screw the screws back in. Make sure that your screws are done up tightly this will ensure that your battery is weatherproof. Now I'm going to show you how to set up your panel. You put the spike in the ground, like this. Then you need to unscrew this bit here, which is a nut, unscrew this bit, like so. It comes off easily like this. It slides on to your ball joint connector, like so. And then you connect it to your panel, like so. You put it on the stand. Make sure your panel is 45 degrees facing south and not in shade, just like sunbathing. Then you can remove the protective film from your panel. Now we're just going to connect the battery to the panel. All you need to do is take off the piece of plastic, like so, and then this little attachment here, you just plug into your panel here, and then screw the nut, like so, just to make it sure it's tightly. And there you have the battery connected to the panel. Then we need to locate the battery to appropriate location. Yeah. I'm now going to show you how to connect the pump to the battery. But before you do this, you need to make sure that your battery is turned off. As you can see, there's an on and off button here. I'm now going to show you how to plug your pump into your battery. You need the adapter to plug into your battery, like so, and then screw the nut onto your battery, like that. And there you have it. Now you're ready to put your pump into your pond. What I'm going to do is hide the wire. You can do this any way you like. The wire around the pond so that it is hidden, and then we're going to put the pump in your pond, like so. I'm now going to connect the nozzles to the pump. Firstly, you need to locate the generic connector piece, which is this bit here. As you can see, it has a thin bit and a fat end. What you need to do is connect the fat end 
to the nozzle in the pump, like so. And now you're ready to switch your fountain on. There we go. And there you have it. I'll now show you how to connect one of the spray heads. What you need to do is get the funnel piece and the spray head. And you connect it like so. And then connect it to your pump. Look at that. Beautiful.